हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड केतु महाराज हैज एंटर ज्येष्ठ नक्षत्र इन द लास्ट डिग्रीज ऑफ स्कॉर्पियो एंड ही इज इन गंदनता एज यू नो एंड आई मेड अ वीडियो ऑन गंदनता जोन ट्रांजिट बाय केतु लॉन्ग टाइम सम टाइम बैक आई वुड से but some of you wanted me to explain uh, how ke to do in jyotish nakshatra so there you go here we shall discuss so what is jyotish nakshatra jyotish nakshatra is known as the nakshatra uh, who which is of the eldest you know jyotish means eldest by age or by seniority or by power strength position status name fame authority so all this is signified by jyotish nakshatra actually so now what's ketu ketu is the planet of spirituality ketu is the planet of uh our psychologists uh, what do you say subconscious mind that's also under ketu actually because ketu uh, is a headless planet it doesn't have the head but does it mean that it makes you headless no it doesn't make uh, make you headless uh, it could but uh, it depends on you and your horoscope of course uh, sometimes ketu can uh, make you understand things which uh, nobody can actually uh, no other planet can do actually okay so therefore ketu is a very interesting planet if you know how to use him properly if you are only criticizing ketu insulting him uh slapping him spitting on his face uh, and telling that uh, you are the worst planet get out of my life you you have made my life a hell uh then he trust me he is going to put you in trouble even further okay he from hell he will make your life hellish all right so therefore do not insult ketu um, the way you insult others or other planets especially so it's very dangerous because uh, then we lose out on the opportunities which ketu can provide okay so as usual if you are new to the channel then uh, please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me then please uh, go to my website uh, down below in the description section exoticastrology.in and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him all right so i'm back here again in the backyard <laughs> recording it's raining but i will see how long i can record so now ketu has entered from 23rd of the september now to jyotish nakshatra and he will be there for quite some time and jyotish nakshatra we know the story from shrimad bhagavatam when indra had uh, uh indirectly disrespected his uh, guru maharaj brihaspati by not paying respects to him mm -hmm. so therefore the most important lesson uh, during this nakshatra is that do not disrespect anybody who is uh, spreading the word of god or who is um, uh, guiding you especially your gurus you know out of your uh, stupidity and arrogance uh, do not do it because then what happens is uh, if that person doesn't like uh, it's like uh, what happened then brihaspati left and then indra lost all his power and position so uh, you might show your arrogance to somebody but at least uh, do not show it to uh, spiritual personalities who are spreading the word of god because then what happens see the problem with doing this is the person uh, whom you are offending may not take offense okay but the problem is uh, lord vishnu takes offense <laughs> all right so that's the big problem so even if that person doesn't feel bad lord vishnu will punish you he, he will hit you hard like he did with indra and indra lost all his opulence his wealth uh, his name fame power position and he was kicked out of the heavens and then later on vritarasur came and it was a big story okay so please uh, read uh, the story of chitraketu maharaj and vritarasur from the shrimad bhagavatam that will really help you actually to understand this so that's the first lesson that you have and um, when ketu uh, is transiting there it can happen that you rahu can give you temptations to do something which is uh, not very good when it comes to the word of the scriptures okay so in that case you you have to decide uh, do you want to listen to the elements of which rahu gives or 
you want to do what the scriptures advise okay so therefore um, it's crucial that you uh, read the scriptures properly and then you understand not theoretically not some uh, religiously that you are reading and you are just uh, cramming things or learning shlokas not like that but you should understand what the mood of the scriptures is and uh, Jeshtha Nakshatra is also known for um, doing things very vigorously so therefore if you have uh, already started uh, like many of you I know you have watched my videos from last one year two year three years and you have been uh, reading the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam and uh, Vishnu Sastanam also from last uh, three to six months so uh, good to see uh, and many of you have asked me that can we do something specific during this transit well I would say uh, nothing specific but um, uh, during transit of any planet in Jeshta you have to see Jeshta has a tagline you know do or die <laughs> So therefore, um, this is a time when you need to either do or, or die or just perish. So therefore, when any planet transits Jeshta regarding the houses which that planet rules in the horoscope, you will always get a feeling that um, there is something which you need to do to go to the next level because uh, Jeshta Nakshatra takes you to the next level actually. And uh, every next level of your life will demand a different version of you. Should I repeat, every next version of you will demand uh, a different version. Every, I mean, every next version of your life, you know, next phase, next stage, where you are now, it will demand a different, totally different version of you, totally new. You, know. you have to do things which you have never done. You have to do things which... Uh, you were running away from so Indra was also running after you know <laughs> uh, so therefore uh, if you keep running away from your problems and from your um, insecurities and you do not face them from your fears then you'll be running away all the time and then uh, the sin personified uh, personality uh, was running to embrace Indra okay so therefore um, during uh, during this transit in Jeshta Nakshatra, you have to understand that if you want a change in a particular area of life, a change which will change you totally, which will change your life totally, then you have to change something in your life, uh, in your habits, which you have not done yet. So, what it is and where it is, that will depend on your horoscope. But, uh, you can ask this to yourself uh, at least it's for me I don't know how is it for you but for everybody indeed because everybody is feeling this transit not only me or you uh, that there is some voice inside you which uh, tells you that which is telling you from some time back um, especially from when Ketu has been transiting in Mula Nakshatra that you know uh, certain things which um, you should do in a particular way to achieve success externally or internally and you know that you have got to pay a price but uh, that's the problem you do not have the inner strength and uh, the inner stamina to take that step and because of that what's happening is uh, you are not able to go to the next level and uh, you are just beating around the bush hiding somewhere do you see these uh, green, you know, these green color, uh, small small leaves and some uh, flowers also here in the back backyard? So maybe you're hiding somewhere here, <laughs> like I'm hiding here now. Uh -huh. So uh, if you keep hiding like this, uh, then one day uh, they'll come and catch you. Okay. <laughs> So don't hide uh, and don't um, run away from your insecurities. If you have some fears and insecurities, then uh, you have to face them. You have to face your vulnerabilities. You cannot keep running for the rest of your life like this. Because uh, you have two options. Either you face and you fear your insecurities or you just keep running. And if you keep running, then you'll be running whole life. And then at the end of your life, you'll just regret and lament. What if I had faced my fears that time? Okay. So you have to show some courage and uh, face your fears. Now you may say that, oh, but uh, I don't have the courage. Uh, I have weakness of heart. You know, I cannot do it. So what should you do, do during this time? Well, 
then um, you should uh, read uh, from the scriptures about the great personalities like Yudhishthir Maharaj, Prithu Maharaj, Dhruva Maharaj. So when you read about them from Srimad Bhagavatam, from the Mahabharata, or you can read about Lord Ram himself, uh, Maryada Purushottam from the Ramayana or from the ninth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So when you read, then you will feel that, uh, yes, I can also get strength by uh, getting enlightenment from their actions. So that's at a philosophical level, but uh, practically if you want some change, then you must uh, be in contact with your Guru actually, your Shiksha Guru, your Diksha Guru, only they can help you during this time. Um, others cannot help you much because uh, only a Guru is uh, above the material conditioning. Okay, So only the Guru can help you, only the Guru can take you out of this uh, and no astrologer can take you out of this, no numerologist, no motivational speaker, no life coach, nobody can help you regarding this time. They are all helpless and useless in such times because they are themselves a part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> depending on their activities of course they may not be necessarily uh, but if somebody is not having a spiritual inquiry or inquisitiveness then what happens is then they are basically a part of the problem they are uh, they are not uh, helping you solve the problem you see so it is advisable during this time that you do not go just uh, to an astrologer for some mundane reading okay so for example if you feel that you are not making progress in your job or you are not getting promotions, then you really have to ask yourself, why is it happening? Will, will going to an astrologer and getting a career reading help you, really? I don't think so. Maybe, yes, maybe, or it could be that you are at a wrong place. Maybe, because see, uh, we know this example that an elephant is very strong in the land, but when it comes to water, a crocodile is very strong, okay? So we have this story from Gajendra Moksha past time that um, when Gajendra, the elephant, had gone inside water, he was defeated by this um, crocodile actually, okay, um, who was actually a Gandharva in his last life named Huhu. So why did that happen? So many times we think that, you know, we are not able to get things done or we are not doing good in life. But uh, you have to make sure that if you are an elephant, you need to be in, in the ground. If you are a crocodile, you have to be in water. So are you in the right space? Are you in the right place so that you can exert yourself properly? You can exert yourself fully. So this is a question which we do not ask ourselves. Okay? How much ever powerful you are, if you are an elephant and if you go to water, you will lose. You will lose the battle. Okay. So instead of putting all your efforts uh, like a headless Ketu, <laughs> uh, use your brain, use your intelligence to figure out is this something which you really should be doing in life, okay, in career or in relationships, anywhere. Because many times we think that we are not putting efforts or destiny is punishing us. God is unfair, but it's our stupidity that we stay somewhere we, where we should not actually, okay. So therefore, um, instead of running behind uh, others uh, or running behind money or promotions, we, we have to actually ask ourselves that, should I be in this space? Because even if I am successful uh, monetarily or by career, so-called name, fame, power, position, I may not be happy later on because uh, an elephant uh, cannot be very good at water. Okay. It's a fact. Uh, that That is just a fact. Whoever you are, you may be the most powerful elephant, but if you are in water, you you are in a dangerous situation. Okay, So, so therefore, uh, identify your strong points. Identify where you are in land, where you should be in land or in water or in the sky <laughs> or underwater. Okay. So once you identify these areas, then uh, you can actually uh, very easily find out what is good for you, what is not good for you, okay? And then you put efforts, okay? Not that you are just putting efforts. So identify your weaknesses, your vulnerabilities, and then work in a way which can give you fulfillment, all right? Thank you very much for your patience. And uh, as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me, my website is down below exoticastrology.in right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much